So, I thought I'd make this video to talk about some points that I made in my previous video that I wasn't able to show you because I just forgot to get the footage. And I feel the best way to talk about these is to... Let me introduce you to my new friend. So guys, I'd like you all to meet Ashley, also known as Ashley YouTube. Yeah, she's a streamer, student, gamer girl from Dallas, Texas, and she has a very fucking barren profile. And she says she's a gamer girl, and if you want to play a game with her, just add her to the friends list. You can play CS, Dota 2, and sometimes PUBG. Here's the funny thing. She don't fucking own PUBG! It's... It's funny, but, you know, I feel, we, I feel like we'd be good friends with her. I don't really know why I'm keeping this up, you... Pretty much already know where I'm going to go with this. So my correspondence with Ashley started how it starts with almost everyone else. On Saturday the 23rd of February, Ashley added me as a friend and I accepted. To which this smooth operator that you know slid right into those DMs and said, New phone, who this? But Ashley fell silent. I didn't get a reply until Sunday the 24th of February, where Ashley graced me with some absolute presence. She said, Hello, our website CS Lounge is a partner of IEM Katowice Major 2019 and every day we choose random winners on Steam. You won $50 on the website cslounge.eu. You can withdraw some CSGO skins. Your promo code is win23feb2ry. To withdraw your winnings is not need to make a deposit. Thanks for watching IEM Katowice Major 2019. I mean that, wow, that was amazing. I just said to her straight, oh my god, wow, thank you so much, how do I redeem? The funny thing about this story is I never watched the IEM Katowice Major 2019 or any CSGO tournaments since 2015. Now, not to be discouraged by my good friend Ashley, but I just kept messaging her back because I have absolutely nothing better to do with my time. So, every time I message her back, I'd usually get a different website. But not much really changed about this website because not much about these websites truly actually changes. Be it the domain name or even just the URL. But very little actually changed about this website. Even the promo code, which was clearly built for that day to make it seem special, didn't change for so long. Up until the end of February, it was still Feb 23. And in March, it changed. But it didn't change again in March. Which you'll see just as it scrolls down here real quick. So, it first started off with just CS Lounge, which most people could maybe get confused with, considering CS Go Lounge was and maybe still is a thing, I don't know because I don't play CS anymore. But, after that, it changed to Skins Fan. And, you know, at this point you're looking at it and you're like, oh, well, they've changed the website. But wait guys, it gets so much better. Like, Ashley, oh man, could not believe the generosity. Ashley just comes out of the box one day, 5th of March. Hello friend! Our site skinsfan.cf celebrates birthday. Come in and get $50 with promo birthday. The withdrawal operates without a deposit. P.S. Each authorised user gets a chance to win rare skins from CSGO. It's 1 of 30 M9 Bayonet Doppler Factory New, 1 of 20 Butterfly Knife Fade Factory New, and many other rare skins. Honestly guys, like... We we would be dumb not to take this off for him, right? Like, I mean, come on. We were getting all these, like, 100 and 200 pound skins. My only real issue is that it's in dollars here, and, well, I mean, the Great British Pound is kind of fucked. Not gonna lie, guys, it was this point I just said to her, you legit need to fuck off. It is just obvious baiting bots trying to get you to go to their website and put in your details so they can get your account, but, I mean, the effort put into them is so low. At one point, you actually saw that I said, I totally want to win an op hill. And fuck, everyone knows it's the MP9 hill, duh. So now after this, I feel it's time we go on to actually looking at the website. And to do that, we're going to have to go into Sony Vegas so I can actually see what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, so currently you're seeing the website as it was when I recorded the video. However, this website has not changed at all since... I clicked this. Like, no joke, it's still the same website. But one thing I spoke about last time was the fake login box and how it is bound to the website and cannot leave the window. Here it is. 
like if you're honestly having any doubts about some of these websites you think maybe there's a chance they're legit i mean firstly you've added a random person that you don't know and they're offering you free stuff i mean come on guy but just look at this it's completely fake i actually put in the same account details as i did last time which if you've seen that video you'll not cut most of it off this is the whole name it's a throwaway account it doesn't log in doesn't log in because it's fake the idea is that it just pulls your details anyone that signs in who's unfortunately naive enough and does not know about these scams goes to log in and they can't like, oh it doesn't work why is it not working it may ask for an authenticator sometimes depending on the website sometimes it won't but if it's asking for an authenticator you can bet any money there's going to be someone sitting there waiting for that code to come in so they can try and log in on the steam website and quickly change your details it's bound to happen but even just clicking there and checking the box if you check the box and the box doesn't leave the window leave the site oh, best advice i can give short of don't accept random friend requests now i know last time i said that you can use who is to see when the website was created and updated however when a website goes from being called cs lounge one day to skinsfan.cf to skinsfan.tk to skinsfan.cf again back in the space of days it's not going to give me anything when i did do it it just gave me up a bunch of crap that didn't make any sense there was no update no creation date nothing it's so like this is an easy way so you can't report the website i'd say currently one of the biggest things about some websites is if you go to them now they ask if they can store cookies that website didn't I say that's a good indicator that maybe it's not the most legitimate website if it doesn't want to store your cookies. Now, that's it. That's all I can really give. Like, I've honestly exhausted anything I can do with Ashley here. It's a rather sad state of affair. There's probably another cracked account that's been used. Could be a legitimate account. Sometimes it does log on and sit on Counter-Strike, although I'm pretty sure it's just sitting on the menu doing fuck all, racking up hours, so it actually kind of looks good. It's not the most elaborate scam actually, this is rather rudimentary, it's just a boring standard scam that's been done a thousand and one times before, but they're constantly changing the website, they're not even keeping track of who they're messaging. It's like, I can get the same message ten times, each with a different URL, which you've seen happened. So you just need to kind of put on a little bit of due diligence with it all and make sure you're actually looking at the website and not trying to legitimately sign in. I'd say your best thing to do is actually putting in fake accounts, making a throwaway Steam account or something if you honestly want to try the website. But the box alone for the sign-in, that's usually just enough. And it can't do anything. If you click that sign-in box and you don't put in any details, it can't do anything. If you honestly feel paranoid, open up something like Edge in a private browser and put that in. As long as you haven't signed into Steam and Edge, you can't collect any cookies. But that's it from me guys, I ain't gonna say you do the usual shit down below because that's just fucking pointless. You do what you wanna do, I ain't gonna stop ya. I will say this though, if you have a friend who's getting stuff like this, send them the videos. Let them know exactly what's going on if they don't know what's going on. If you feel they may actually be susceptible to it or maybe if they wanna know what happens when you follow it through and dig down the rabbit hole, show them it. But till then guys, I will see you later. I'm Definitely going to try to upload more. This was just something that I felt I could expand upon, given I had a little bit more resources on it this time to show you. So, until next time, we'll catch you in a bit, guys.